Hello, welcome back to my channel, Stream and Go. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the 4K file stick fresh out the box like you just bought it. But before we get started, I want you to please like and subscribe to my channel. And as always, don't forget to hit that notification bell to receive my weekly videos. Now, let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, the first thing I'm going to be showing you before I actually show you the setup, I'm going to be showing you all the accessories that come with the 4K Fire Stick. And we're going to start right here. This is the remote that comes with the Fire Stick. Now, it does have a battery. I already know, um, put the two batteries in, but it does come with two AAA batteries. Next is the Fire Stick itself. And this right here is the extension that comes in there. And this is the cord right here that goes into your fire stick. And this is the adapter, the block, whatever you want to call it, that goes into your wall. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to even hook up um, your fire stick itself with the cord going into the fire stick itself. Then we're going to put it into the TV and show you the actual setup. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the fire stick. Now, the extension, it's an optional um, if you want to use it or not, I use it. Um, an extension gives you more room. Because sometimes um, it can get a little tight back there. It depends on where you plug it in, um, your block, whether it's in a wall or an um, extension cord or whatever. Um, sometimes you just don't have enough room. But this is what the extension is for. So I'm going to go ahead and hook it up just to show you how to do it. You got two ends. And what we want to do, we want to hook this right into this fire stick. And it hooks up just like that. Now the next thing we want to do, we want to grab the cord, we want to undo it, we want to take that small end, and you look into the fire stick, look on the side of the fire stick, you'll see the small opening. So what we want to do, we want to put that small end into the fire stick, just like that. Now if it don't go one way, please don't force it, you will mess up the port, just turn around the other way and it should slide right on in, just like I did. And last thing we want to do, we want to take that big end and we want to put it into the adapter block. So we'll just take it and put it in. Now, like I said, if it don't go in one way, we'll flip it and see it will not go in this way. So I'm not forcing it. I'll just flip it over and it goes right in. And this is how you attach your fire stick in order to start to plug it into your TV and start working. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and hook it into my TV. You will hook this into your HDMI port. Make sure you have it on the right channel according to what HDMI port your fire stick is plugged into. You may have two HDMI ports, some three, some four, depending on your TV. So just make sure you have it in the right port and put it on the right channel. And this goes into the wall. It's as simple as that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. Now that I'm back, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my TV. Notice that I'm using two different remotes. This is a remote to the TV. Now, once I set my fire stick up, I will um, set my fire stick up to control my TV to turn the power on and off and the volume up and down. That's part of the setup. But for now, I'm just um, turning on with the remote that came with the TV. So we're going to sit that down. We don't need it anymore because we have cut the TV on with the TV remote. And now my fire stick is coming on. So we just give it a few seconds for it to come up. And this is depending on your internet speed, um, how long it takes for it to actually come up itself. So like I said, we'll just wait a few seconds and give it time to come up, it will come up. Now, once it started up, this is what you will see. Um, it's, it's pretty much searching for your remote. So what I would like to do to just speed it up the process a little bit, on the play pause button, I just wanna hold down on it and point it towards the TV. So once we do that, You can see it comes up more quicker. Um, you want to just point it towards the TV. Um, you can, and the events will come up, but that's just a quicker way I found out of how to um, get it to the screen that it's supposed to be on. And then once it gets to the screen, and let me say press your play pause button. So we, what we want to do, press the play pause button. And this is what you want to come up, I uh, want to see. It is choose your language. Um, we're in the English, United States. So it's already highlighted, so we just click it. And now what it's doing is scanning for your network, scanning for your Wi-Fi. Because what we want to do, we want to put in that Wi-Fi code. 
And if you have Wi-Fi, what you need Wi-Fi in order to use the five six with streaming, um, it will be in this list. Normally, it will be the first one. So it's the first one on my list. So as I would highlight, I just click it. And now, what I want to do is put in my password that is connected with my Wi-Fi. Everybody has a password. You can look on your modem, and then normally your password will be on there. So now I'm going to put in my password. So just be, just be patient with me. Now, once you got your uh, password in, just go down, highlight connect. Once you got connect highlighted, we just want to click on it. And it says connecting to network. Then if it's the right password, um, it'll say connection successful. Um, if you do not have that password in right, um, it would not take. So please make sure you have the right password in if it's on your modem. And type it in right. Some of it all caps. Some um, have caps, lower cap, um, lower letters. It all depends on what you have on your um, um, router. I don't see all numbers, letters. So just make sure you type it in right, whatever it is. And whenever your file stick, and I don't know why they start doing this. I don't know why this don't already be on here. I am mean, saying downloading the latest software. It didn't used to be like that, but now it says downloading um, the latest software. It takes um, two or three minutes or whatever. But um, just wait until they get through downloading the um, latest software and it will move on to the next screen. Now I'm saying finishing updates. So it's almost finished. Now, once the updates are finished and updating, you will come to the screen, sign in with your Amazon account. You will need an Amazon account. If you do not have an Amazon account, you will not get past this screen right here. It's real simple to just go on Amazon and create an account. They got different accounts. They got one where you just type in um, create a username and password. And once you type it in here, you, you, go, you can go and pass your screen. Um, or you got the one that's tied to your checking account. Um, I have one tied to my checking account, so I'm going to go ahead and put in my username and password. But if you don't have one, it's just real simple. It's free. Just go on Amazon and create a username and password or get the account that's tied to your checking account and create a username and password. So we'll just click on it. And now they start to bring this screen up right here. Now, normally it just go straight to putting in your username and password. Um, they do have this where you can go on Amazon.com slash code and put in all this information. But we can just bypass that because it takes a little bit longer to do. You can just simply click the three lines on your remote, three lines on your remote, and what they do, they will carry you straight to the screen that's quicker and it's faster, which is pretty much a username and password or email address and password. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put in all my information. Once you have your email in, then type in your password. Once you have your password in, you'll see where it says sign in. So once we got sign in highlighted, we'll go ahead and click it. And it's saying register your Amazon Fire TV. And then if, once you have all your correct information in, it's going to say successfully registered. And then it will have your name. We'll just hit continue. You want to save your password on your file stick? We'll click yes. Now, this right here, it can go back and put apps on here. That's on If you have other file sticks with apps on it, with your username and password, it'll automatically store some of those apps on there. I'm just going to skip that for now. This is where you can enable parental um, controls or no parental controls. I'm going to do no. 
And it's saying prepare your remote for your setup. Now this is what will repair your remote to control your TV for the power on and off and for the volume up and down. And so we'll be playing music during the next step. Please make sure the volume is turned up, then continue. So we're gonna click next. Now we're gonna um, pair our remote up with the fire stick. So we're just gonna, it's telling you what to do, push the volume up and down, you got the plus and your minus. So we just click that up and down and as you can see, you can see my uh, volume is going up and down. So it's asking you, is it uh, your volume button, did the music volume change come out of the expected audio device, meaning did the volume go up and down? So when to click yes, your fire stick remote is now successfully set up for your TV. So now we can cut it on and off with our remote and also the volume up and down with our remote. So we just click OK. Now this right here, when we get to the screen, you can choose your streaming services. Uh, you, um, if you want to, I never do. Um, Hulu, CBS, Sling, Netflix, you know, streaming services like that. Um, they say get started. Um, I, say, I just say no thanks. Now, Fire TV for Kids, this is if you have kids, you want to just set this Fire Stick up just strictly for kids. You can do that right here. Or you can say not now, so I'm going to say not now. And what this will do, now this will bring you to your home screen on your remote. We pretty much do with the setting up. Now, what I always like to do, the first thing I always do is I go over to settings. And you can click down on uh, notifications and see what it say. Um, get started with great apps. Get started with great games. It'll show you uh, some apps that you can install. Or you can install some games if you want to install those are the notifications. You see two. So I had two notifications. But I'm not going to get into that right now. I'm just showing you the pretty much the setup. But what I like to do is go to My Fire TV. I want to highlight it and click it. Drop down one to developer options and click on it. Now I got A to B debugging and apps from unknown sources. They are off. I want to cut both of those on. So cut A to B debugging on. Apps. I mean cut that on. Okay. A to B debugging on. We drop down to apps from unknown sources. It's off. Want to cut that on. And we'll just click um, turn on again. And what that does is when some certain apps that you want to install, um, you need we need the A debugging the B, um, A, A, B, B, the button turned on and apps from unknown sources turned on for certain apps that you want to um, install. So right here, we want to click our home button on our remote. And then it carries back to the home screen. And they have, um, once you go down, they have uh, preloaded apps and games and stuff that you can install. If you go all the way up to the top um, and go over once to the left, you got where you can search um, apps or games or whatever you want to do. I'm going to click the home button and go back to our remote. So that's pretty much um, it's the setup for the five stick straight out the box. A little time consuming, not hard, just a little time consuming. But um, you follow step by step, you shouldn't have any problems or issues with setting up your 4K fire stick. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to please like and subscribe to my channel. As always, don't forget to hit the notification bell. Any questions or comments, please leave them in the link below. I hope to see you on my next video. Have a great day. God bless.